Although a small country of just 600,000 people that only covers around 1,650 square kilometers, the Grand Duchy of Luxembourg delivers a considerable diversity of attractions and fun things to do. While many of the country's top sightseeing opportunities and points of interest lie in vibrant Luxembourg city, Stadt Letzenburg de Lamborghiche, if you will, the old quarter of which has been designated a UNESCO World Heritage Site, Luxembourg's many small towns are equally lovely and are well worth exploring. It's also an extremely easy country to travel around. Whether you're exploring on foot in the capital city or planning on taking a driving tour through the picturesque countryside or are doing some town hopping by train, you'll never have to travel too far before finding something worth seeing. Old fortresses and castles complement the country's beautiful scenery, making it a popular tourist destination that is frequently visited in combination with surrounding countries such as Belgium and the Netherlands. You'll find the best places to visit in this charming West European country. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the top 10 rated tourist attractions in Luxembourg. And just wait till you see what's at number 3 that we're going to be showing in this video, something you would never even have thought of, so make sure you watch till the end. Before we begin though, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more awesome travel guides and make sure to hit the notification bell so that you know when we publish a new video. So without further ado, let's cut to the Luxembourg chase. At 10, Luxembourg City History Museum. One of the newer attractions in Luxembourg, the Luxembourg City History Museum, Musée d'Histoire de la Ville de Luxembourg, was opened in 1996 and provides a fascinating insight into the rich 1,000 plus year history of the city. The building itself is a stunning mix of the old and new, combining a number of old homes dating from the 17th and 19th centuries, some with even older medieval sections such as recently discovered vaulted cellars. These contrast impressively with the museum's striking modern extensions. Exhibits deal with the early settlement's first inhabitants and its growth and development through the centuries right up to the present day. In addition to its many fine exhibits and displays, the museum is home to a huge elevator and viewing area, which offers wonderful views over the city's historic Grund district. English language guided tours and workshops are also available. If you're planning on doing some museum hopping during your stay, be sure to also visit the National Museum of Natural History, National Musée für Nutrasklicht. This popular Luxembourg city attraction features exhibits dealing with the natural world, both locally and globally. At 9, the Luxembourg Ardennes. Standing in stark contrast to the rather flat landscape around Luxembourg City, the Ardennes is where you'll find high forested plateaus, sheer cliffs, wooded hills and hidden valleys, as well as countless impressive views. This picturesque region, famous as the place where Hitler staged his last major campaign of World War II, boasts numerous castles, fortresses and fortified farms rising out of the hilltops. One of the prettiest towns, Wiltz, consists of an upper and lower town and is famous for its open-air theatre and music festival. There's also a Battle of the Bulge Museum in Wiltz Castle. Another World War II themed museum of note in the Ardennes is the General Patton Museum and Monument in Ettelbruck. The quaint village of Clairvaux is also worth checking out. While the village lies amid a deep and narrow valley beside the river Clerve, it's Benedictine Abbey of St. Maurice and St. Maur. It's also known as Clervor Abbey. It was built in 1910 in Romanesque Burgundian style and dominates the valley. Visitors here can enjoy exhibits relating to the monastic life as well as Gregorian masses. And now at 8, Echternach and its Benedictine Abbey. The beautiful town of Echternach lies on the bank of the river Sur, which forms the border with neighbouring Germany. The Millerdal and Germano Luxembourg Nature Parks are located nearby, and the surrounding woods are crisscrossed with hundreds of footpaths leading to spectacular rock formations, waterfalls, a lake, and numerous lovely viewpoints. The town itself is well known for its centuries old dancing procession, which takes place on Whit Tuesday and attracts visitors from around the world. The old aristocratic houses, narrow streets, and ancient ramparts have helped Echternacht maintain its medieval appearance. A must-see is the 7th century Abbey of Echternacht. 
This former Benedictine monastery is popular for its superb museum and is notable for its four long wings built around a large square courtyard. The basilica, considered the most important religious building in the country, is home to a crypt with a magnificent white marble sarcophagus containing the remains of St. Willibrord, the founder of the abbey, and its vaults are painted with frescoes dating back to the 10th century. Echternacht is also famous for its international music festival, which runs from late May to late June. The town also offers great dining at its many restaurants, as well as numerous boutique shops and galleries, a variety of top-rated hotels and camping. And now at 7, Grand Duke Jean Museum of Modern Art, Mudam, Luxembourg City. Fans of modern art and ultra-modern architecture must visit the superb Grand Duke Jean Museum of Modern Art, Musée d'Art Moderne Grand Duke Jean. Liking my French? It's also referred to simply as Mudam, and its contemporary art collections from world-renowned artists make it one of Europe's most important art galleries. Since its opening in 2006, Mudam has drawn consistent rave reviews for its large contemporary collection. Highlights include works from such well-known artists as Bruce Nauman, Andy Warhol and Julian Schnabel, to name but a few. In addition to its fine permanent artworks on exhibit, the museum features many visiting and temporary displays. Also available to the public are a variety of first-rate educational programs and workshops, including some geared specifically to kids. A large shop selling related gifts and souvenirs is located on site, as is a great cafe. Guided tours are also available in English. At 6, William Square plus Guillaume II, Luxembourg City. Luxembourg's William Square plus Guillaume II is one of the city's largest open spaces. The former site of a Franciscan convent, it has since been converted into a pedestrian zone. In the centre is the equestrian statue of William II, King of Holland and Grand Duke of Luxembourg. William Square is also where you'll find the lovely town hall and the famous Tremont's Lions. Here, too, the city's popular weekly market is held and is famous for its flowers and plants, as well as local produce. Nearby is the 16th century House of Raville, with its beautiful facade, well-restored balcony and spiral staircase. Other notable landmarks are the Spanish turret, with its superb views of the Fafental suburb and the old cavalry barracks of Valban. Dominated by Fort Tungen, it's also known as the Three Acorns, for the three acorns that adorn each of its three towers. And be sure to take your time exploring this beautiful area. It's a delightful spot to stop for a meal or beverage at any one of the many fine cafes and restaurants located here. Now it's time for number five, the walls of the Corniche, Luxembourg City. The spectacular walls of the Corniche, Le Chemin de la Corniche in Luxembourg City, have been called the most beautiful balcony in Europe. Towering over the old city in the river valley below, it's here you'll find the big gate of the Grund, dating from 1632. Its ramparts reveal several aristocratic houses and refuges, as well as the ancient convent of the Dominicans and St. Michael's Church, 987 CE. In the suburb of Grund itself is a large cluster of buildings with the church and ancient Abbey of Neumünster. It's notable for its 17th century cloister of Limoges, an organ dated from 1720 and a 14th century black virgin. The adjacent buildings are part of the ancient Hospice St. Jean, founded by Emperor Henri VII, Count of Luxembourg in 1309. At 4, the Grand Ducal Palace, Luxembourg City. The Grand Ducal Palace, Gross Erzulegge Palais, and my favourite, is a must-see landmark in Luxembourg City. This gorgeous Renaissance building dates from 1572 and serves as the official residence of the country's reigning monarch, Grand Duke Henri. It was built as the city's original city hall in 1572, a role it served until 1795, before switching eventually to its present use as the Grand Ducal Place in 1890. 
While it's still the full-time home of the Duke, the public are permitted an opportunity for a peek inside during special organised tours made available from mid-July to the first week of September, when it becomes one of the city's most visited attractions. Presumably without Duke inside. Nine tour options are available daily and are conducted in a variety of different languages, including English. Tickets are made available through the Luxembourg City Tourist Office from their office in Place Guillaume II. Highlights of the tour include a chance to see the plush, elegantly furnished interior, including the ceremonial rooms used on significant occasions, such as visits by foreign dignitaries. Next up at 3, the Bock Casements, Luxembourg City. Luxembourg's Bock Cliff, or Bockfiel, with its fortifications and cannon loopholes, is where you'll find the entrance to the famous Casmates, Casement du Bock, a 21-kilometer network of underground passages hewn from solid rock. Capable of sheltering thousands of defenders, as well as equipment and horses, it also housed workshops, kitchens and slaughterhouses. All told, the Quesemans, some of which date back to Spanish rule in 1644, cover an impressive 40,000 square meters. That's a lot of digging. Today, much of these remarkable fortifications can be explored on foot, while organized guided tours are available for those wanting to learn more about the tunnel's fascinating history. On the block plateau itself are the remains of the old castle discovered in 1963. There are beautiful views of the suburb of Grund and the Ram Plateau, the old 19th century barracks and the big towers and remains of the Wenceslas Wall dating from 1390. As in Good King Wenceslas, I guess. Next up at 2, National Museum of History and Art, Luxembourg City. If you were to judge Luxembourg City on the quality of its museums, never mind its status as one of Europe's most historically important cities, it would still rank extremely high on the list of the continent's must-see cities. Topping the list is the National Museum of History and Art, National Musée für Gesicht et Kunst, or MNHA. It's located in the historic fish market area, once the original town centre. The MNHA's collections include art objects, archaeological finds, furniture, tools, coins, arms and documents dealing with the history of the country, all of them housed in a stunning new building. There's a particular emphasis on the Gallo-Roman period, with numerous fine displays illustrating the artistic, social, religious and intellectual life of Luxembourgers from the 16th to the early 20th centuries. The contemporary art section is also a must-see and is furnished with works by many of the most important artists of the 20th century. Guided tours in English are also available and a research library and shop are also located on site. The unique Am Tunnel or Galerie de Art Contemporaine Am Tunnel is also worthy of a visit for art lovers. Located, well, as the name suggests, in an old tunnel, yes, you guessed it right, this contemporary art gallery with its first-rate collection of visual arts offers a pleasant respite for the many larger, busier museums and galleries in the city. And finally, at number one, the old quarter of Luxembourg City. There's no better place to begin exploring beautiful Luxembourg City than in its historic Old Quarter. Often referred to locally as simply Distad, this wonderfully preserved old city centre was designated a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1994. The city's impressive ancient fortifications also ensured its place as one of the most strategically important of Europe's major cities. The fortress was so impregnable, in fact, it was dubbed the Gibraltar of the North, Although the original fortress was dismantled, between 1867 and 1883, its impact upon the Old Quarter is evident everywhere. Today, the old fortifications have given way to beautifully laid out parks and gardens, while its cobbled streets are lined with charming old homes and buildings. It's a great place to spend a few hours exploring as you cross its many bridges, including the spectacular Adolf Bridge, considered a city landmark. You'll also traverse many interesting alleyways, for an added dose of fun, don't make use of a map. Instead, just follow your nose and see where you end up. Well, I often do that and get completely lost. While there's ample public parking, if you're arriving by car, considering using one of the city's excellent park and ride facilities. Better still, arrive by train and book a stay in an old quarter hotel. 
Sounds great. And there you have the top 10 rated tourist attractions in Luxembourg. Did you like what you saw? Let us know in the comments down below. Share this video with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more fantastic travel guides. That's all for now. Until next time.